Hello, everyone. My name is Dion Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and we're coming to you live from the final of the St. Louis Grand Championship. My co-host for this round is... John Babcock. That's right. And uh, for this round, we're about to actually need to do something. I have to change the title on this. This is not the top four Ooh. anymore. This is the final. final. Okay. So both these guys have world's invites. Um, pretty cool. Now, what, for the next 11 months, they just get to hang out and try some cool stuff. Do whatever you want. Um, and it looks like Clint has one of each target lock. That's right. That, that's so helpful. Blue, yellow, red. Yep. Got it. All right, those of you who are watching live, you're going to see a quick blip as I uh, stop the stream and start the stream and get notifications out there. Uh, don't freak out. We're going to keep doing our analysis, though. Let's go ahead and, uh, and break down these lists. All right, so uh, Doug Howe, who was just on, Sunfat, Crackshot, and Snare, six Trade Federation drones with grappling struts. Then Clint has his own version of Triple Republic Ace, Rick, Daredevil, R2, Plo with Jam and Shields, uh, Obi-Wan with Sense, R2, Delta, and Spare Parts. Interested to see if Spare Parts ever play a factor. We do have two hours, so. We do. I, I, mean, think, I think it'll come up if it. If it goes, if it goes the length, um, something that uh, I mentioned earlier, and something that you see on this game is mm -hmm. that Clint target locked all his rocks, um, but all these droids have a target lock action, and they're not really using it or their action right now. Um, and I would just say, hey, just uh, have them all target lock the rock. That's right. Why not? So Clint playing fast, making sure to have enough time to deal with those. I mean, <laughs> enough time. He's got 120 minutes. But uh, I think Clint likes to, likes to play aggressive, I think. Mm -hmm. A little barrel roll to the outside. Give himself a little little bit of extra room when he's coming around this rock yeah. here. I'm wondering if he's regretting bringing uh, rocks right about now. I mean, those Roger Rogers, they like it. If you don't know what, we, what we're calling Roger Rogers, uh, those are those vulture droids. Mm -hmm. Roger, Roger, that loving phrase from the uh, the prequel era. Yeah. It's funny, right? So I feel like 10 years ago, maybe even five years ago, people would just complain about the prequels yeah. all the time. Yeah. And now people people just love them, right? Yeah. It's uh, it's like, that oh, a good that's joke. cool. Yeah. yeah, it's fun. Well, uh, Sunfac has the I-6 on all these guys, so... Um, Think we'll ever see Plo pull a tractor this game? Uh, hmm. I mean, so he can't. He'd have right? to. He has that. So he has let, that tool. Let's go ahead and read the ability just so that anybody who's mm -hmm. watching this in the future uh, or maybe just joined us right now for the final, hello. Mm -hmm. Hello there. Um, let's go ahead. So Poe, uh, Plo, excuse me, says, at the start of the engagement phase, you may spend one force and choose another friendly ship at range zero to two. If you do, you may transfer one green token to it or, and this is the part that you're talking about, John, or transfer one orange token from it to yourself. Mm -hmm. So a couple of things happen uh, when this tractor moves first. Of course, you are helping out your buddy who's no longer minus one agility. But if that's the first time Plo becomes tractored... He can use it to his advantage to move. Right, yeah. exactly. He's got some movement shenanigans because he is tractoring himself, right? Mm -hmm. It's a self-tractor. Mm -hmm. Just like Sunfact does. That's, Tractors himself. That's right. It can also be used for the R2 Astromech Weapons Disabled oh, yeah. token, uh, which has been Very used effective. to great effect. Yeah. yeah. Um, and if I wanted to paint my own Plo... Mm -hmm. Where could I go, Dion? <laughs> if you wanted to paint your own flow, <laughs> you can actually learn how to paint with Luke Carrington, our Gold Squadron paint cast resident painter. Is he going to clip this rock here? Well, it's got... S nope, no, he's no. got it. He's got it. Um, Calculate it. That's right. <laughs> Gold Squadron Paintcast, he streams every Monday and Thursday. Usually on Sunday nights, we have Echo Base do a mission debriefing where they watch some tape mm -hmm. and just go through it step by step, pausing when needed, talking about uh, the game, analyze, analyzing uh, Vassal games and recorded games, usually Sunday nights. But they won't be uh, available tonight because uh, Kevin Lines is uh, celebrating one of his kids' birthdays. So they're having, having a good time, family time. Makes sense. Yeah. So this should be back on next week. 
it's uh it, it's pretty cool to see the three turn and then barrel roll back mm-hmm. um because you might be wondering like oh why don't you do the hard two or the hard one instead and it's just some of that geometry mm-hmm. and uh, how far you actually move versus how far you need to move um so yeah um if you can afford to do it early on in the game to like you know, precisely get where you need to go, which in his case, between these two rocks, yep. you know, the three three hard barrel rolls. Now, I'm curious to see where Doug wants to play. Like, obviously he wants to play on the rocks, uses to his advantage, but uh, is he willing to play in this open area, in that mm-hmm. open field? Mm-hmm. And something to note is uh, Rick. Mm-hmm. Um, you, like, you plant yourself on this rock, you plant yourself on that rock, and you keep your guns pointing down, mm-hmm. and you just reveal that five forward, Rick's ability can't work. Right? Yeah. So, because um, it has it references the reveal dial, like reveal what's, dial, what's physically right. on right. that little circle. Yeah. So if uh, you open up struts real quick, um, and mm-hmm. we read it, um, talking about uh, you know how you turn, how you stay on, how you get off. Um, ignoring obstacles at range zero while you move through them. After you reveal your dial, if you uh, reveal a maneuver other than two forward uh, and are at range zero of the uh, asteroid or debris, skip your execute maneuver step and remove one stress. Uh, if you revealed a left or right turn... It's basically uh, a blue yeah, stop. <laughs> right. Yeah. And so if, if they land on the rocks and they want to keep going that way mm-hmm. and Rick's in mind of taking him out, um, they should rotate. And they do have a hard three. So they could point this way and then rotate and now face that way. Oh, and yeah. And then maybe prevent, keep uh, Rick uh, from that, you know, faster, faster movement ability. Now we have opened up our Choose Your Champion poll. This is the final, everybody. Let's go ahead and let's get those votes. Vote one in the chat if you think Clint's going to take it, and two if you think Doug Howe will be victorious. Mm-hmm. We have Clint Houston versus Doug Howe. Yeah. If you were at home right now, what would you be voting, sir? Me? Yeah. I'm a Galactic Republic fan, mm-hmm. um, but after this tournament, I'm not a fan of Rick. I think he kind of made his splash on the meta, and people are surprised by his movement. Mm-hmm. And like, oh, man, Rick's getting in range one of me and throwing four dice. And now it's like, okay, I know what Rick's doing. We have an attack here. So. No damage there? Yeah, nothing there. Um, OB Plo are really showing showing their value of late. And Got it. Yeah. I'm worried about Obi here. Because range three from purple. Yeah. Whiffs. So we have a, this is a St. Louis versus uh, versus Kansas City match here. Oh. All the Illinoisans were defeated, Dion. Yeah, that's right. This is the bat- we battle for. Better get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> this is the battle for Missouri. <laughs> we're not welcome. Um, I'm worried about Obi here because Plo is. N- not anywhere nearby to pull that tractor. Yep. I mean, he might just be planning on going fast here, maybe going up the gut, see if yeah. he can get to the back side. Yeah. Two, two bank and everything. Keep, it keeps you open. I think he might try and fan out a little bit here and play with that rock uh, as, as far as Doug goes. Um, but some of, some of these options, man, like do five forward boost and – I think that's what the if Rick safest calls thing. It. Yeah, what or what if Son calls it? Like that's even worse. <laughs> and now your eighty one point ace is off the board. And he's worth more than Son Fac. And that would be a lot of work for Rick to do. Because mm-hmm. Plo has no title uh, uh no title. He's got an extra shield, but Plo's not really on the board to do the damage. No. Just do all the toolboxy things. Yeah, we'll we'll have to wait and see. Mm-hmm. Let's get some more votes in the chat. We got over two hundred people watching right now. Let's go ahead and uh, and get those votes in again. One is a vote for Clint. All you have to do is literally type one or two mm-hmm. in the chat. Two is a vote 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 for Doug. Yeah. One is for the Republic, and two is for the Separatists. We are watching the Clone Wars unfold yeah. right before our eyes. 
Season seven coming to <laughs> Disney Plus. So it is it is great for Rick that he just has open. Yeah, we like yeah, just doing fast stuff and there's not much going in in and around that way. Because um, any fight over in this area would be a little bit harder for him. It almost feels as though like this game is just gonna be over here. In that top right corner. Yeah. I, I agree. Like I don't know. I'm uh, I'm a little nervous for for Obi Wan here. But if you had to vote, ooh. Hmm. I think. I think Clint has all the tools to beat the vultures. Mm-hmm. I think the movement with Obi Wan is concerning me, and yeah. that makes me lean towards Doug. Yeah. Though, I mean, he made it to the final. There's yeah. a lot of great players at this event. Yeah. Um, we'll, we'll just have to wait and see how this ends up shaking out. Mm-hmm. So, at the moment, looks like our audience is currently preferring Clint ahead 55 to 44. Get your votes in. We will be cutting it off after this engagement right here. All right. So, it's almost like the vultures want to, like, set up a blockade <laughs> for these guys <laughs> to say, hey, you guys got to. Is that legal? <laughs> <laughs> You guys got to stay out in this zone. Uh-huh. And we're going to let we're going to let Obi play in, play in our little zone as we trap him in. Um maybe cuz I just cuz you don't always see it. Right? There is a chance. Obi somehow gets in this area. That area? Mhm. And drops a cloud on Sunfac. Oh, that's very true. He has the. I think the lanes. I wasn't played. sure what you were drawing for a second. I was yeah, like, oh. I, I, I got a little tired and <laughs> there. Those are the little spare parts. Yeah. Well, I was, I was trying to draw it forward and then also draw the bank if uh-huh. you boost. But, all right, he's like. He's going hard at. Uh, yeah. He's anticipating Rick and and Plo to come in fast yeah. to to meet up with uh, with Obi Wan, which is interesting. And I he might just be yeah. calling calling Obi Wan going straight. You know, yeah, straight up the the side there. Yeah, and there's, there's the five straight right now. I don't. There's nothing that Rick can do to get out of uh, no. all the arcs. He can maybe get out of Orange, but yeah. gets that free evade. It's important to note that when those vultures that are on the rock fire through it, they do ignore its a bit. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a they ignore it, yeah, yeah. But Rick will. Th- they will get the defense. Right. Yeah. Exactly. All right. It's gonna go ahead and choose to focus. Yeah. And here's Plo doing a three straight. Yeah. Does he just take focus? I think I think Doug that call by Doug is very good. So I think that's the second shot. Oh, charge. and wow. interesting. Okay, so Clint calling the like like oh you think I'm gonna feign? I'm actually gonna have Obi Wan in the fight. Am mm-hmm. I be able to clear? Interesting. And anticipating that Sunfax is going to run into him. But then could get himself off, right? Hmm. So there's some debate here on the action. Focus. Yeah. Oh. You know, there's, there's, there's joking around like, oh, look, I did it. I, uh, I blocked Sunfac. <laughs> I mean, at least he doesn't have actions like that. Does it still does help? Mm-hmm. 
Okay, they're just double double yeah. checking, making sure that it doesn't fit. Yeah, we got plenty of time for you know every stone. Yeah, don't leave any stone <laughs> unturned. That's right. Yeah, leave no stone unturned. So it looks like the arc is forward, which means he has to rotate it off, mm -hmm. which kind of stinks, because last last game we saw like bullseye, like the arc always seemed right. Yeah. Um. Well, you can barrel roll him and push him forward a little bit. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you can you still keep him in bullseye. Uh, oh, he might not have it. Depends, I'm, the, I'm, I'm depends on the angle. Does. I'm going to say he does. But what's also interesting is... Uh, Negative. Negative. <laughs> wow. Doug just said, I'm an idiot. I am tired. <laughs> um, it's interesting because now Obi still has the Rick, like, keep the calculate range. Yeah. Um, wow. That, that's going to that's gonna change things. One hit going into purple, I'm assuming. Spends the yeah. calculate for no damage. So Going. yeah, all those trade federations went four. Oh, that doesn't help. Whiffs on Rick. Yeah. No target lock. <laughs> <laughs> Hit crit coming in from Plo. And of course. All right. All right. All right. Number orange taking blinded pilot. No. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> They're talking to us through the through the microphone. <laughs> yeah. All right. So blue shooting. Got it. And Snake Eyes, yeah, spend it. Go. It's going to hit for something. Hits for two. Rick uh, is, that's not Rick, that's Plo. Is that who he has up there? This is Plo. That's Obi? Yeah. What's up? Sorry, who's he, who's he firing at right now? Uh, so these guys shot at Obi. And I think after that, most of these are getting dumped into Rick. Sorry, I was looking yeah. at it wrong. We got it. We're good. He he didn't have Obi. He didn't have Obi keep any focus. Or or is Obi out of force? Right. No, Obi's not out of force. Interesting. Uh, I'm gonna hide the overlay here for a second so we can just double oh, yeah. check everything. So two shields, taking one shield on Rick. Mm -hmm. No vultures off the board. Only one is damaged. Um, so the order of this, we've got Obi-Wan at the very top, Rick in the middle, Plo's in the bottom, and we have Doug's correct. Um, it, was, it was just a two damage on orange? Yeah, and that's it. Okay. That's huge. Yeah. Very minimal for Doug. You have 60 votes. Yeah. It's 50-50. 50-50. I'm going to tell you, like, it's yeah. so hard to know what's going to end up happening there. We'll go ahead and take down the Choose Your Champion poll. Thank you for everybody who participated. Yes. All right, so what do you do with some of these guys? I think he stays. Maybe this guy hops over. So that way you got two guys on the rock. 
Because how many can you have on a rock? Three? Uh, on a rock, I think it's a, I think it's a limit of two? Yeah, two or three. We can go ahead and just take a look. We have the power. Uh, our one or fewer. Yeah, so, so up to two, up to two yeah. Roger Rogers, two vultures on a single rock. Mm -hmm. Does Orange try to at all remove that critical? I think he just kind of becomes a focus or a calculate battery for everyone else. Um, a lot of interesting decisions here. Who do you go for? Because Rick's on one shield, but maybe Plo's try tries to keep that in range to mm -hmm. pull the uh, regen off or the d weapons disabled off. Um, by doing some some maneuver, I think Plo's going to be able to jam. Um, Plo's going to be able to jam, so that's one of his abilities. Plo's also going to be able to pull a weapons disabled, right? Which is another one of his abilities. But I don't see Rick or Obi completing any maneuvers. So like his his offense is just going to drop here. Yeah, yeah. The he'll have some force available. Yeah. Uh, not for Rick, obviously. <laughs> All right, and Talon Roll is live there. Yeah. He takes a stress. It's really boxing in Obi now. Mm-hmm. I mean, he could go through the rock if he wants. Obi? Yeah. <laughs> Five straight, you'll be fine. Maybe. Does he hit it? It is. Grappling stress. And barrel roll out, covering some different angles. Mm -hmm. This means that Orange could get on the rock, too, by doing yeah. a one hard in or something like that because they barrel rolled off of it. Uh huh. And Purple is going to be able to pull a calculate. He's got two different guys coming in to help. Third guy. Red, two forward, ending up on it as well. Just using that rock as a stepping stone. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, it's just like I'm gonna be on the rock. No, you're gonna be on the rock. And calculating there. <laughs> Two bank. Two bank is a white maneuver on the vulture, so they're keeping that stress. Okay. But kind of hoping to keep Plo in the back mm -hmm. so that he doesn't – so he's a longer or fewer people to jam. Right. Choices to jam. I think Rick just dials in a three or faster knowing he bumps mm -hmm. and just to have that dial higher. Yep. You, you, you want to make sure. Kind of ability. It's one of those where you're like, I, I'll take the extra dice because it gives me a chance. Yeah. yeah. This this turn can really flip the game right here. Mm -hmm. As we stand, it's still 50-50. We'll see yeah. where it goes. Um, or if somehow Plo were able to clear the uh, stress, take mm -hmm. a focus, mm -hmm. um, pass Rick a focus, and Rick takes a range one shot on something with four dice, could zap a vulture. I heard a two sloop. So did I. Ooh, Obi Wan's gonna be in a significant number of arcs here. In three at least. Without Sunfact, who hasn't moved yet. No, uh, it doesn't does not complete. And what So he he must know that Plo doesn't get in range at all to pull the weapons disabled, I would imagine. Or maybe he mm. forgot. Maybe. It's just... Mm. Yeah. Left to see. Right. 
I want to remind you guys, those of you who are watching at home, sorry for the low energy. We are tired. We started really early this morning. Out late. Also, not feeling great. Hey, that rhymed. <laughs> Music. Teacher. Call me Dr. Seuss. Stress everywhere. Stress Calculates everywhere. <laughs> so depending on what Sun Fact did, yep. end yeah, up. Yeah, there's just the I don't know what's gonna happen, but here's but I went fast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, every time I see this uh this emo, I think it looks like Brandon. <laughs> right? Doesn't it look like Brandon? Yeah. <laughs> Catherine Nick said, no more gummy bears for me. I'm I'm kinda mad at Kayla. She's like, Oh, here, do you want this gummy bear? I'm like, yeah, sure. What is it? Vitamin? It turns out it was a melatonin. So I may have been sleepy already, but I don't think this is helping. <laughs> I'm fighting the chemical reaction in my brain that's telling me, you're sleepy, go to bed. All right, so one less calculate. Always mm -hmm. good feeling, but still a lot of guns on oh, the yeah. table. Where are you going, Sonny? Oh, boy. Five straight. You got to remember that uh, you can't rotate to the back, so well, no, no shots on. right there. Right. Yeah. I was, I was, I was going to get there. I was trying to build a narrative. Yeah, I mean, we have 92 uh, minutes to kill. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> a vamp for time. All right, and there is the tractor. Rotate. I'm going to pass that to Rick. Mm -hmm. There it is. He's minus one agility. He has one dice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, five and five. This is four on one for this roll. Comes out l lucky. It's yeah. Below average. Takes two. Yeah, half points. Then that is half points on Rick. Yeah. 25 points scored. <sighs> what stinks is that, like, there's really no focus fire for Clint. Mm -mm. Um, it's a start. Just having three hits on something. That'll, that'll get one off. And that pops orange. So there's some progress. Got one vulture off, still behind. Yeah, Rick shooting at probably purple. If no, real close. But purple would be ideal because I don't know if he can pull a. Oh no, he, there's still one calculate out there. He could pull. From. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, that networked. Hit looks, crit crit. Looks pretty good. Spin the calc. Yeah. Sometimes I wish, like, as a streamer, like, you knew mm -hmm. the order of the cards in the deck. Yeah. So that way, like, you could tell the audience. Like, yeah. Oh, man, it's a good thing you didn't take those two crits because yeah. it was fuel leak followed by. Uh huh. Yeah, that was <laughs> in the blues. A triple stress there. Oh, man. Not helping anyone out anytime soon. Two. And Plo trying to put the nail. Yeah, two, no rock. Yeah. Stay in range three. He still has his calc, and there's calcs nearby. Um, so it looks like he'll just take the range one. Plo didn't take the tractor off of Rick. That's during post yeah. uh, Plo's activation, right? Yeah. Or start of engagement. Start of engagement, yeah. But it turned out all right. Yeah. Well, Decently. Uh, well, the, 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 they haven't fired yet. The vultures, we don't know yet. Yeah, that's true. There's three, four, right. three shots coming in. Hit crit, calculate. And Rick's off the table. Yeah. Yeah, because then Plo could have gone that way. Mm-hmm. 
get out of another out arc of or two. A couple arcs. Yeah. And there are two arcs coming in now to fire. Blue, range one on Obi-Wan. Mm -hmm. Two. Nice. Has to use the Force. Yep. And I think, is that Force expended? Yes. Yeah. No more Force. Yeah. Red, range one on Poe. Uh oh. Hit crit. Not today. Uses the Force. Still has one Force modifier left. I think green is the only one who hasn't shot. Uh, this is purple. Oh. Hit, hit, crit into Obi. <laughs> Natty's last shield, though. That is half points for now. Come on, Doug. No shot there. <laughs> All right. They are back to dials. Doug ahead. Yeah. Uh, Clint scored 20 points to Doug's 90. Mind you, that is a deceptive 90 points yeah. because uh, they got two two more shields on Obi. Yeah. Now, if there were half points on Plo, those are going to stick. Mm -hmm. But Plo can just – Plo is two force. Mm -hmm. So, like, he's going to be a three-dice gun pretty much anywhere in this mm -hmm. whole, you know, bumper to bumper. Um, and, and this that's parking lot? Yeah, space this, parking lot? This, part of this space parking lot because he also jams something, right? So, like, Plo kind of just getting bumped and staying, did sticking Plo, around this Plo whole roll, thing. Did Plo roll? No, that was Obi-Wan. That was Obi-Wan. Never mind. It'd be interesting if, if Plo's ability read, read something a little more like you can give and take green and mm. orange tokens. But I understand the, the restrictions they put on him. Right. Um Especially with Obi Wan, like I kind of thank the play testers that it says focus tokens and not green tokens for Obi Wan. Okay. <laughs> someone like someone like Rick constantly right. getting into Vate. Yeah, like, no, <laughs> does not stop. <laughs> uh, would would be uh, pretty disappointing. Rep repping the the world's plow with that plow base. Pretty cool. I'm looking forward to Strong. Like, the future of uh, prize support. Yeah, this is getting better and better. It's, it's getting so cool. So, so barrel roll off the rock. Yep, yeah, so that link, was a don't stop. Guy. Yeah. All right. Hard turn. Yeah, hard turn. Take a focus or calculate. Just to help so, out your buddies. Yeah. Because he's still got, what, five? One, two, three, four, five, yeah. Blue bumps there. Yeah. Gets rid of one stress, I imagine. Does not look, yeah. Just kind of bumps up. Mm -hmm. Really nothing was looking good for purple besides no. just no he's like, like uh <laughs> i guess this is where yeah. i go <laughs> deal with you later waiting for clint to see where he goes yeah so clint is saying that okay uh, he's gonna regen the shield. Regen the shield. Sunfact cannot transfer him a tractor this turn because of where uh, the arc is. That's true. Yeah. He can give it to Plo if Plo stays <laughs> stays in this area somewhere, though. Mm -hmm. So, half points redacted. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Typical Republic player. <laughs> Taking their points back. Now, okay, here here it is. Here it is. Sunfac turns this way. Yeah. Plo's going to be on that yeah. rock. Oh, moving a rock. Highly debated. Getting loud here. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of ooh and he got excited. He got yeah. excited with a the jam. There's the one hard. Plo is in the front arc, it seems. Should have range one. Points it to the front. 
takes a focus. Not sure. He, that's that's a little greedy. Okay. He's debating whether to put him on the rock. If he puts him on the rock, he's going to hit it twice in a row. Right. But he would not get any shots. I think Green would be the only one that would have a shot on him. Mm. That range one. Obi hoping on a... Yes. But Obi's only got one force. Yep. Yeah, so it's... Whiff, right, sons, the sun fact. Helps. This could be the big swing right here. Yeah. Range one, oh, four dice. Obi just cleaning up vultures and Clinch. sun pack. Sun pack. Oh. And two. Got it. Spends a focus. No damage. All right. What vultures have shots? Green. Green. And blue. Orange. Who's orange here? Oh, sorry. Black. Right here. This. Oh, yeah. This is green, I think. And it's two agility because he doesn't have Delta 7. Right. It's just the native Aether Sprite. Uh, yeah, Oof. That's plow. Hit, hit, crit. Good die. All right. That's a concession. He just conceded. All right. Well, that. That's that. Obi-Wan versus the rest of the list. Clint, <laughs> Clint just says over the microphone, do you want to go back and do that final salvo? So um, to our final, not today. Uh, what was that, 40 minutes? So congratulations to Doug Howe. Yeah. He is the champion of the St. Louis uh, Grand Champion. The f war for Missouri has been won by Kansas City. I think it's, that's what we learned today. And uh, And those forums are, you know, going to talk about it oh yeah oh no and for sure sun fact sun sun fact gets his yeah. first official first title. official uh premier yeah. level win now here's a question right oh. I'll, I'll be the skeptic i want to play devil's okay. advocate a little bit i turn to you and I say well this means nothing only there were only 70 p players at this event it's your fault for not showing up skeptic. oh 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 man! Duncan came in from Maryland because he, he did. heard about the numbers. He did, and he uh, he lost he in the 60, top thirty-two, yeah. top thirty-two, something like that. All right, guys. Well, we're gonna do some giveaways. We're gonna show off some stuff, and uh, and then we're gonna turn it off here. So before you guys go, uh, I want to remind you guys that our we're gonna flip back to the table here for a minute. I want to remind you guys that our stream this weekend was brought to you by our patrons. We have our upcoming set. Uh, that's going to be shipped out in January 2020. You can see some of the previews there. Our newest level is the general level. Uh, they're going to be getting a 11 by 14 Soontair Fell print, and the only way to get it is if you are at the general level or if you win one and the stream because uh, we are going to print a couple extra to give away. But if you want a guarantee, that's how you do it. Our Ink Series card has been revealed to be Supreme Leader Snoke. Uh, so Completing that set of seven ink cards, uh, that's going to be set num uh, card number six. Sweet. We have three full art cards coming out right here, and they will also end up in plastic forms, and depending on what uh, level you are, you will receive those. And we have our new GSP sticker, sticker. right there that's going to be for the ace and higher level. Thank you to everybody who's become a patron. If you become one, you can go to, if you want to become one, you can go to patreon.com slash gold squadron or type exclamation point patreon in the chat to uh, find the link or if you don't know how to spell patreon you can type exclamation point support and there's a document there that will pop up to show you all the different ways to support us you guys can do that um let's give some stuff away yeah all righty so we have I, I did count it correct we have one last arch alliance koozie shout out to the arch alliance for all their support and uh and that's <laughs> For uh, for all their support and, and uh, providing some of these items for, for us to give away. So here we go. Who gets the last koozie? Three, two, one. Get it. 
Darth Rosie. Yes, Darth Rosie. Want to remind remind you guys that if you win, you got to type exclamation point win in the chat. All right, we have this is my final Hera Syndulla card. Okay, voice actress Hera Syndulla. Here we go. Get it. Three, two, one. Roll it. Uh, Lionheart six eight or sorry two eight six. <laughs> I thought I was tired, son. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna I'm gonna dig deep a little bit here. We got this. Uh -huh. We also got this. Okay. What's in the box? What's in the box? Um, let's see here. Let's let's find some good stuff. Let's find some good stuff. Ooh, we can do one of those. Ooh. I forgot that I had that in there. Oh, I remember the other one I was going to get up. Where are you? Got to find it. Got to find it. It's another. There we go. So I'm going to do one of those. Mm. It's a grand championship. Got to gotta pull out some, some big stuff here. Dang. Yeah. That's a cool one. And, uh. Wow, the the auto like the the auto yeah. gain is is doing crazy things. Mm. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. See you, Nick. See you, Nick. All right. So we have uh four more items to give away. Dropped my phone. Let me pick it up so I don't accidentally step on it. So the first thing we're gonna give away here. Is this is a Gold Squadron Loric card? I know he's not in the meta right now, but it's just super cool art. But just wait for January. That's mm, <laughs> the rise of the Ozatux. Thanks for giving No problem. Congratulations, son. Yeah. Champion, the first Sun Fact Premier win. Go, Mo Can. <laughs> <laughs> Go, Mo -Can. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So who's gonna get the uh, the, the, the Loric Lo card? Three, two, one, get it. We got Q A yeah. F Z E H seventy four. That's right. Congratulations. We have a set here, Warfare Weekend token set mm -hmm. that we have. We had a range one and four target locks. Three, two, one, the winner is uh sit uh Fabaji? Sit of Fabiji. All right. Yeah. Following since March. That's right. Remember, guys, if you win, type exclamation point win in the chat. Fill out the form completely. Otherwise, you don't get the stuff. Mm -hmm. All right. Then we have, this was courtesy of our friends, the Carolina Crates. We have a sinker card here. This was from the last Crate Cup, the one that happened uh, in 2019, early 2019. Mm -hmm. I will be also, again, streaming the 2020 Crate Cup. Oh, okay. do we know when that is or not yet? Uh, it's actually, if you type exclamation point events in All the right. chat, All you right. can find the events link, and it is listed there. All right, so here we go. That's a very, really, really cool one. Uh, Angry-looking stormtrooper there, or clone trooper, excuse me. That's our sinker card. Here we go. Three, two, one, roll it. Baza RG. Baza RG. And last Congrats. but not least, we have one of our Gold Squadron exclusive plastic frosted cards. This is an example of one of those for the new set that's coming up. Of course, it'll have the new art. But this is our Poe Dameron plastic card. Have a couple left. Let's get it. Let's see who gets it. Three, two, one. Roll it. Uh, so... Joner 63. So Joner 63, fantastic. Well, awesome. thank you to everybody who's taken the time to uh, hang out with us here, who's watched the stream. Uh, it's been an amazing time. Thank you to our judges, our TOs, everybody who's just involved in running this. Thank you to Warfare Weekend, the players, and uh, thank you to you. And thank you to John for yeah. hanging out and, uh, and driving with me. Thank you to Number one, our patrons and everybody who supports Gold Squadron Podcast. Because, again, this doesn't happen without you. Shout out to Kellyanna doing the good work, keeping track of what people have won. Love it. Thank you so much for doing that. Yeah. What's your next big event, Dion? The next big event. Well, you know what? Let's practice. Let's practice. Oh. Exclamation point. E-V-E-N-T-S. Press enter. The bot says, bleh. Spits it out. <laughs> Spits out the link. So we have... Next weekend's off. 
Uh, the weekend after that, we have the Turkey Shootout, the Toys for Tots events in Dubuque, Iowa. If you can make it, come out. There's no cost for the tournament. It's uh, There's a single ship you have to fight, uh, you, you fly with. You play several rounds with it. It's a single-day event, and uh, it's for Toys for Tots, so it's a lot of fun. That's your entry. Your entry is a toy in. Then... After that is Thanksgiving break, taking a little break. But then right after Thanksgiving, we have the Philadelphia System oh, Open. Man. Okay, that's going to be a Friday, Saturday, Sunday event. Day one A, day one. Uh, no, sorry, I think it's done on Saturday. I think it's Friday, Saturday. So we'll have a Swiss and then a cut. Um, and then the weekend after that, December fourteenth is the Crossroads Classic. Mm -hmm. All right, Crossroads Classic. Then, of course, Christmas break, take a little break. And we've got some things that are happening over there uh, in the new year, like the Las Vegas Open, uh, a.k.a. the Grand Championship being held by Fly Better, our boys out in California. Uh, rest in peace, my Knox. And then, <laughs> then we have Craig Cup. That's March 13th to the 15th. And Adepticon, Adepticon, March 27th, which may be the reawakening of GSPN Plus, oh, the X Zone. Maybe it's in your backyard. It is. It's, it's close. It's our hometown. That's right. Yeah. So it it just depends, man. It's just, it takes so much work. I gotta yeah. fly in people, do all this stuff. I don't know. We, we'll we'll see. We'll see how things are going. But thank you guys so much. Thank you to Nick for holding down the fort. He thank did a you, great Nick. job. <laughs> He's tired. Ready to go home. <laughs> All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Gold Squadron out.